Hey there, it's Martha, and if you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. I have my What I've Been Warming this week. It was, oh, it's quite a week. It was quite a week, um, I was going to say emotionally, but I guess so, mentally, emotionally. Uh, it was a tough week at work, and also just a lot going on, a lot going on. But we closed last week out with a live, sorry, I have an itch in my nose, and uh, that was a lot of fun. So it's always fun to kind of, you know, just enjoy company community ending the week that way. So, uh, I had a lot of fun. So if you joined us for the second and spruce live, which was on Friday, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Erica, for being there and, uh, answering a ton of questions. Uh, it was a lot of fun and helped me make my list. I will share how I did this month at the end of the month when I do a monthly update, but it's, uh, it was, it was a good week. It was a good week. It was a it was a good end to a eh, week. So how has your week been? Let me know if it was a eh, week or just like a lot going on. I know there's a lot. I have a lot of friends that have lost pets recently, coworkers, um, you know, and so it's been, a, it's been a tough February for a lot of people that I know. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Let's go, let's talk about wax and let's get started and you can see what I warmed. We're going to start with Scentsy. I usually start with Scentsy and then we'll hit the other vendors, but I did pretty good with Scentsy this week. I warmed, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm warming my wax here. Uh, I had five clamshells and a number of testers. So let's start with the clamshells. This is Love and Kisses Mini. This is from the Bring Back My Bar Back last summer. I think this was, um, is it like a sweet pea, some kind of floral and vanilla? I can't remember, but peach, no, not peach. Peach, but I think there might be apricot in here. I think there's apricot in here, but it's a very pretty scent, light, only really, in my opinion, for a bedroom. Um, I didn't, um, what am I trying to say? I didn't put these in my club or anything. I was just using like a half of a clam that I had left. And that is what this month has really been about is kind of using up some stuff that I already started using and just didn't finish emptying. Here I have cinnamon pine cones. This is pine cones and balsam branches and cinnamon bark. Love this one. It's in my club. Yeah. And it's still been cold. I mean, we're still in winter here, so we've definitely had some uh, cold rainy nights. I like mixing that one with cedar cider which was a mix or a blend that uh, you shared with me. And uh, was it, is it Tammy? Now I'm gonna forget. I think it was Tammy <laughs> that uh, I have to look it up. It was, uh, red, this is reddest apples, cinnamon sticks and vanilla beans and cedar and that's cedar cider. And that's a nice one. So I, I really like that combo of the two. So I appreciate it. And then um, Enchanted Mist. So this is one that I picked up from a warehouse sale last year. Yeah. February of last year, it got a little mushy and it was this yellow wax. And this was a good scent, nothing out of this world, but every once in a while, I like these, what I'll call atmospheric scents. This one is, uh, it was a good performer. And if you like kind of these, I mean, it does. I know it's called Enchanted Mist, but it's hard not to think that. Imagine yourself like a foggy day. Like, you know, the, the way that the air smells like before or after it's going to rain or before the rain's coming, like you could just smell it in the air. That's to me what this reminded me of. It was a good performer. I warmed this in both bedrooms. Um, that was nice. If it came back around, I don't know if I'd pick it up again, but it was it was nice to have something different. Then this one I did not finish, but this is Fuzzy Blanket. I warmed three or four cubes of this. This is Lavender, Sandalwood, and Sweet Honeysuckle. This is a beautiful scent. It is in my club. I'm like, eventually, as I have to make more and more cuts to my club, I don't know if I'll keep it, but it's so pretty. It's another cozy, comforting scent. It's got some floral. It's a little powdery. For me, it's almost a combination between jammy time, if you're familiar with that scent, and is it star stargazing? I think it's stargazing. Star yeah, I think it's stargazing. 
So I think it's kind of a combo of those two, but um, yeah, I really like it. The fuzzy blanket. A little goes a long way because I couldn't even finish a clamshell. Uh, maybe I'll finish it before the month is out. But uh, I also, this month, used these little testers. So as Sensi Consultants, we can, you know, purchase these little testers. And I have a bag of them. And I've, I just don't warm them very often. And the bag was sitting on a chair. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just start popping, just grab whatever and start popping them in the bathroom um, bathroom warmers so I can use them up. So this is Golden Garland. This was a very beautiful scent. I liked it. I don't think I had warmed the the full clamshell. This was a new scent in the winter fall catalog. I mean, we're transitioning out of it, but it was one of the new scents. Really pretty floral. It's creamy, bright, but really pretty. So I like the scent. I think I stuck it in my club just in case I fall in love with it and I don't want to be without it. I think it's a beautiful scent. I hope it comes back but uh, I don't know that I'll, I don't think it's gonna stay in my club. And so it's also nice to melt them and test them, but it was perfect for the bathroom. Winterberry apple tea. Yeah, I think I melted the clam of this last week or the week before, put that in the bathroom as well. Great scent. So then I have cozy cardigan, love the scent. I think I warmed one of these last week or maybe it was cashmere corduroy, but love both of them. This is creamy. I warmed this recently. So pretty. I love the scent for the bedroom. I warmed this in the bathroom. Um, and what I do with these, if you're, if you have, if you have these and you have trouble getting them out, I just get a butter knife and kind of slice through the middle and just pop it out. Um, so they pop out really easy because Scentsy wax is soft enough where you could just pretty much cut into it. And then frosty air was this lot. I don't know why I'm showing you that part. You should want to see this part. Frosty air is pretty much a laundry scent which is great for the bathroom. It's a laundry scent to me. Um, so that, those are the little testers I used. And then last but not least is a scent circle. This was Christmas Cottage Cider. Um, I just got this in a whiff box. I don't typically buy these. And um, I mean, I have, I did last year, like 2022. I didn't in 2023. Um, I put this in the under the sink where the garbage is and it has no scent anymore but yeah I, I don't I just don't know what to do with them right <laughs> so I, I figured that was a good spot for it in under the kitchen by the by the garbage all right that is my scentsy let's move on to fender wax all right here I have blackberry cashmere cookies so this is from second and spruce I used up a mini loaf beautiful scent I love cashmere cream. Great. I actually like this in the bedroom and I don't really warm bakery, but this isn't really bakery. This is like blackberry with, you know, cashmere cream, which is a little more on the body care leaning, body lotion. So pretty, great performer. But I've worn this in open space and in my bedroom and finished the little mini loaf. My foot is falling asleep. Okay, let me extend the leg here. All right. Then the other kind of single, yeah, I think this is the only one from this vendor, Teddy Bear Biscuits This and Strawberry Pound Cake. So this is Teddy Bear Biscuits and Strawberry Pound Cake. It's a layered wax. I don't know if you could see, maybe not. Let me see. Yeah, it's a layered. I've kind of undone them, but it's like that. <laughs> smells, mm, smells fantastic when I do that and that, but when I melted it together, because I, you know, I cut it together and it was layered, I didn't like the combo as much on warm. So what I think I'm gonna do for the rest of this, where it's really less, maybe like a third of a tub, is I'll melt the strawberry pound cake part and the um, teddy bear biscuits separately. Yeah, it was, it's so pretty on cold, but when I warmed it, like I said, as it was melting together, I was like, I don't know if I like that combo as much. So that's what I'm going to do for the rest of it. I don't know if I'm going to finish it this month because I still have a lot of other wax that I want to get through from my basket. But uh, that was teddy bear biscuits and strawberry pound cake. I think recently I 
did buy another strawberry pound cake from her last pre-order. So it's, it's pretty, just that combo I don't think was what I thought it was gonna be. Okay, let's get to um, Knowles Farm Scents. So I have Cabin Retreat. This is flannel, my itchy nose. Okay, flannel, uh, Palo Santo, and marshmallow fluff. This was from September. This is, I think, the second bag. I bought two of these. Love the scent a lot. I have, you know, there's certain days and it's, I was gonna say it's January. No, it's not, it's February, it's still cold. I think I'm thinking that because it's raining today and it's another kind of rainy cold day. But I came home from work, I was exhausted and I just wanted something warm and cozy. It was cold and I love that. And I love, I love, I think Travis does this really well. I, I when I think about the, col the, the collection from Noel Sense that I have, a lot of it does have its palo or its comfort or uh, marshmallow fireside or fireplace. I'm gonna talk about one coming up here. And I don't know, sometimes when I'm thinking, I want something cozy for this evening, I usually go digging through my Knowles and see what I have. So Cabin Retreat is a good one. This one is not that comforting kind of smell, but it's a great smell. This is lemon pound cake from Knowles Farm Scents. It's lemon cake, vanilla, butter, and sugar. Really, really yummy. So this was a, I forgot where I warm this. Had to be the kitchen. Had to be the kitchen because I don't really warm bakery in my bedrooms. But um, this great performer, it really gave me the icing on a lemon pound cake. So I definitely could smell the lemon for sure, but I also really got the icing, you know, that sugar, that little, I I mean, I love the Starbucks lemon coffee cake, I think is what it is, or coffee pound cake. Uh, I buy that one a lot, even though I don't go to Starbucks very often. But when I do, that's usually my go-to with my coffee and I it's that icing part on the top. So really, really yummy lemon pound cake. Okay, then going back to Knowles Farm Scents and like these wonderful, beautiful comfort hugs. Um, this is Treats by the Fireplace. So love this one. I warm this on Friday because that was when Knowles Farm Scents had his pre-order. And uh, this was not part of the pre-order. He had another one that was Rustic Cabin cookies, I think, which I do have, and it's fantastic. But this one is Treats by the Fireplace. It's Sugar Cookie Royal, Sweet Bakery Dough, Zucchini Bread, and By the Fireplace. I don't know what took me so long to warm this one because it's fantastic. I think I'm gonna warm it again tonight, to be honest. Um, this is Sugar Cookie, uh, I already said that. I already read what the uh, notes were, but this was just fantastic. I don't know where my brain was going right there. <laughs> <laughs> like, but uh, love it. And I warmed, uh, like I said, this on Friday. I melt, I uh, not melted it. Wow, my brain gone. It's gone. I microwave it to get these beautiful, smooth cuts from the loaf. And there's hardly any, um, you know, little pieces, crumbles, because I put it in the microwave, the loaf melt it on one side for anywhere from 20 to 23 seconds, flip it over another 20 seconds, and then it's actually fun to chop and it's, it's very satisfying. So that's what I did with that. Don't know where my brain is going. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's, I guess I've been talking too much. All right, so next we have, I'm gonna do Rose Girls and then we'll end with Sassy Girl Aroma. So Rose Girls, I have, not that one, Forced of Illusions, this is Palo Santo, Campfire Cookies, Vanilla Woods with a Hint of Lavender. This was uh, in a friend mail from Summer. It was really good. I would buy this again if I see this. I, I think this is part of the Mario pre-order, I believe. Uh, it's a little masculine, I think, with the Palo and the Vanilla Woods. It, did, it doesn't say icy Vanilla Woods, but that's what it smells like. A, another sexy kind of yummy, not yummy in a bakery way, yummy in a sexy man kind of way, um, scent for the bedrooms, but really another comforting scent. I love lavender. I really do enjoy Rose Girls Lavender. So this had a little bit of everything and uh, great for the bedroom, just cause that's the kind of thing I like to melt in the bedroom, but I use that everywhere. Open space, bedrooms, 
that's how I got rid of, rid, I shouldn't say rid of, that's how I used up a whole bag. Um, Thwomps. This is pine, peppermint, sugar cookie dough, and campfire marshmallow. Great scent. I picked this up in December, or yeah, it was a November pre-order. Received it in December. This I will definitely buy again. This is a, a favorite. I'll give this a heart on my spreadsheet because it's got just a little bit of tree, but not a lot of tree. And it's got some peppermint, but it's not like her strongest peppermint. Um, and it's just a great blend and decent performer. I'd give this like a five and a half or six out of 10, six, six, six out of 10 as far as throw. I mostly warm this in the bedrooms. But if you are not someone who really likes tree scents, you might like this one because it's really subtle. And if you like peppermint, but you find that a lot of Jenny's scents with peppermint are very strong peppermint, because she has a very strong peppermint oil, this one is a little more subdued. It's not her typical oof of peppermint, but you can smell it. I mean, you, you gotta like peppermint, but it's just not as heavy handed, I, if, if I were to give it a description. So it's a really great scent. I really like this one a lot. So this one is Thwomps. Okay. A little bit flaky. This has been in my collection since February. This is cinnamon, bear claws, frosted cronuts, and toasted marshmallows. This is heavy. This is a very heavy, buttery, bakery scent. Uh, I could almost get some of the flakiness from the cronuts, but then it's also dense at the same time. Very dense. I, you have to be in the mood for this. And I think this is why I've had this bag for so long because a little goes a long way. Like I would only put in maybe two cubes, one in each warmer, one in two warmers, I should say, for downstairs and leave it at that because that will fill up and then kind of even waft upstairs. It's a strong performer, even after it being a year, a year old in my collection. And, but I just have to be in the mood for that kind of dense scent. I might want to see if I can mix this with something. Cause it is a lot. It's one of those where after about three hours, I'm like, okay, kind of, kind of over this scent. So even though it's enjoyable, I don't know. Do you guys have sense, sense like that? I have sense like that where I like it, but I can only deal with it for so long. So that's what a little bit flaky is to me. And uh, as I'm going through Rose Girls, I filmed already. I just pre-filmed it. I'm starting my wax collection series. Rose Girls is the vendor I have the most of. So that's coming maybe this week. I'll drop it this week. Uh, so I do mention some of these in that because I go through my entire Rose Girl collection. So if you're interested in that and you haven't subscribed, uh, feel free to subscribe and put the notification button on there so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, all right, this one is Santa's Speechless. This is Spruce, Satsuma, Coastal Kale, and Raindrop. So it's, it's her Speechless with Spruce. That being said, her spruce is not very strong. Like I, I mean, if I were to be blindfolded or no one, you know, wasn't told what the scent was, I don't know that I can pick out tree, to be honest. It's a hint. To me, it's a hint, a hint of spruce. Yeah. I guess I would be able to see that it's spruce, but it's such, it's not the star at all. This is, the star is speechless. The star of this is speechless. So this is a really pretty bright, to me, happy scent, which is the way I describe sweet speechless. Um, and I would warm this all year round just cause it says spruce in it. Again, I don't really get that. So do and did enjoy warming this. Great performer as well. Warm this in open space. Uh, so yeah. Okay, last of the Rose Girls here. This is Captain Crunch, Captain Crunch Rice Crispy Treats. This I've had in my collection since March. I've got, what is that, six little cubes left. I warmed this this morning, probably had it going for about five hours before I couldn't really smell it as much. Uh, strong start, strong start, but then, you know, it does die, die off a little bit. If you love cereal scents, this is a good one. So I, I do like the scent a lot. Um, 
very sweet, yummy cereal scent. This does have, like many cereal scents do, I would say a lemony. There's a lemon scent to it. Mm, it's yummy, it's so good. I love this one. So Captain Crunch Rice Krispie Treats. All right, we're down to the last vendor here. So this is Sassy Girl Aroma. All right, Witchy Woman. This is one that I, I put this in one of these bags. Uh, I In the last round Robin I was in, uh, I think it was Chris, yeah, it was Chris. Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris had a brittle in there of this and I took some because, well, one, thank you, Chris, for sharing this in the round Robin box. I was just so curious about what this smells like because the description itself is like the smell that you, whatever, it's like you smell as you walk into like a head shop or something like that. And I'm like, well, what's that supposed to smell like? I think there's Nag Champa in here. I don't know what else, but it is a clean, it's very pretty, clean scent, almost like shampoo-y to me. Um, really nice scent, great performer. This was a really, really good performer. Probably could have gone two days, to be honest. Um, I have a tendency to take my wax out after like a day and a half um, on average. So this was a great one, but it was that like after the, a, a day and a half, I was like, okay, I want something different, but great performer. Would I buy this myself? Maybe, although I don't know if it's, but I say maybe because I don't know if it's a scent that I would necessarily gravitate towards often enough. And it would be one of the brittles and I have brittles like that where I still have a lot left and it just takes like a year, <laughs> a year to use. So I don't know if I would, but um, but it's a good performer if you like kind of those Nag Champa kind of scents. Speaking of brittles you have for like a year, this is Coffee Shop. This I've had since February of last year. There's like basically almost like a snap bar left if I had to say how much is left in here. This is blackberry, zucchini bread, and latte. Now, this is another great performer. I do enjoy the scent. I love her blackberry, but this is another one where I enjoy it, but I can only deal with it for so many hours and then I'm done. Coffee is like that. For me, you know, I like smelling it in the morning and then by noon, I'm like, okay, ready for something else. Um, but this mix with the blackberry is also really pretty, but also makes it a little heavy for me. Uh, so that's why I've been using little by little. Little goes a long way. Probably only, only need one brittle in a warmer. Um, so that's why I'm still working through my brittle, um, but I like it. Uh, would I buy that one again? I don't know because there's so many other coffee blends that she has that I'm, I'll say that's probably not my favorite anymore now that I've smelled more, you know, coffee and different vendors coffee and things like that, but it's a good one. This one is all snuggled up. This is uh, crisp air, clove, birch, thyme, warm woods, and musk all snuggled up. And I am almost down with this one, done down. I'm almost done with this one. Some days I'm like, why am I even bother making a video? I can't, my brain is all weird and twisted. But uh, this I've had since December and uh, warmed it in the bedroom. Great scent, different scent. That time really makes it different. But if you like something a little different, I think you'd like this. Uh, it's comforting. A uh, great performer as well. I was downstairs when I had this going upstairs and I can get a hint of it downstairs. I'm like, am I smelling that? That time does come through. So that herb, you might have to like it, but again, I like it because it's different. And so does the birch. You get really nice birch in this as well. So it's a good one, uh, but also takes me a while to get through it because I have so much wax. Then the last but not least is Big Shave. This is Cotton Candy, Beach Nights, and Shaving Cream. I've had this since January of last year and I have barely, barely used almost half. Not, not, not even half. Uh, I'm warming this today in the bedroom. It's a good performer, but not my favorite scent. So, 
it's not bad, but again, I have so much wax that, you know, there's favorites and there's like, you enjoy them and then there's no. So this is like, it's fine, but I think I'm finding out that maybe shaving cream is not in my wheelhouse. Not bad, but not my favorite. So this one's okay. Um, decent performer. I can definitely smell it when I'm in the room, but it is starting to die down a little bit and I've had it going for about five hours. So that that is it. So that's what I wore this week. I hope you enjoy this. And if you did consider giving me a like or subscribing to my channel. And like I said, I'm going to have uh, I'm going to start my wax collection. So I'm starting with Rose Girls because that's the one I have the most of. And then I'm going to move on to Sassy Girl Roma. And then I'll see what I'll see what the next vendor is that I have the most of in my spreadsheet and go from there. So uh, I hope you enjoy that uh, series when I when I drop that onto the ch onto the channel when I drop that later, <laughs> later this week. I don't know. I should just stop. Stop talking, Martha. All right. Have a wonderful day and or evening, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.